Oh, good afternoon, everyone. It's Monday afternoon, Monday to die for. I have a new picture I'm going to do today. I don't have it here. Hold on, let me go get it. <laughs> it's a Monday. Where did you put that stuff? I think it's worse. Okay. So today we're going to do a good artist. Um, it's artist day. Okay, Cindy's getting everything done so I can say hi to people in a minute. Okay. Oh, that's moderation. I fucked up the wrong thing. Okay. Oh, hi, Peggy! She's on row 441. Ooh. Hi, Sidra. Hi, Valera. Hi, Jan. Okay. Hi, Renee. Oh, you get to today, Renee. Hi, Linda. I'm so happy. I'm doing an artist today that usually most of the artists we've done in the past have uh, passed a long time ago. This artist is still alive. So I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited that we still have a, a, a living artist we can do on, on a Monday that's still out there. But he's 88 years old. So I would love to meet him in person. So you guys are probably wondering, get to it, Tom. Who is it? You didn't say that, did you? Okay. Get so, to it, Tom. Who is it? Okay. So. Hi, Penny. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, guys. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Watch. Shh, we'll be quiet then if watching from work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this artist, he's from the South. He's, like I oh, said before. The yeah. He's from Mississippi originally. Back in the, well, if he's 88, that was a long, long time ago. Hello, Kellyanne from England. Hi, Kellyanne. And, but he studied in Louisville, Kentucky. And then he he ventured to Washington, D.C. And that's where he started his art career decades and decades and decades ago. And he's still there. Wow. But we are he's gonna do a man of color too, right? Yeah, he's he's an African American, and uh, I just love his work. It is Sam Gilliam. What I liked. He did a lot of stuff on on fabric okay. too, and not oh, just on canvas. He did these big uh, um, bolts of a uh, fabric. Okay. So they can see it. Okay. And he did a lot of cool things. I love the colors he uses. This is just one. He never stayed in one color range, I've noticed. He did all I kinds of colors. And that's what I love about his work. Hold that up a little closer. That tan at the bottom is actually the floor in the um, museum. Yeah, he's in a lot of museums. It's just a very long panel, but it's got some teals and yellows and pinks and just some really nice soft spring colors. What's it called? It's called Green April. Yeah. And so he he was a uh, abstract painter, obviously, but he was of a, um, a, a a certain specific type and it was more of a an American-based abstract type. It was uh, um, more outside of the boxes of straight lines of of uh, different kinds of detail. It's more just putting things where you wanted to put them. It's kind and of watercolor. It was it was a they they called it lyric um, abstract. Nice. And so that was the form of uh, art he did mostly. And I love it. So let's get started. And what's cool about this, you can see this. It like goes throughout the whole thing. So I will be able to put it on every single one of them and make it look like a big picture, but it really won't be 
because we're going to do individually with every single one of these colors. I will put that down. Every once in a while, Cindy will pop her arm in with it and show anybody coming in. Yep. Maybe I need to put it somewhere I can see it too. Okay, let's start with that. So this is our our color on on this end. Ooh, pretty teal. Oh, Art doesn't doesn't get done neatly. Let's get that stuff on there. You know what would be fun moving forward once in a while is to do some on the the is it traditional and mm -hmm. non super yeah. wash because we did what was the one we did the other day in both sweetheart or one of the reds yeah and we did it in somebody ordered it in sock and in traditional fingering and it is so much more muted okay this is going to non super wash this is going to be interesting you can see that all this other stuff has kind of a gray background so I am going to sponge the rest of this with gray and then I'm going to add little bits of of colors in it where it shows you could have almost started with a I could have yeah but what fun is that this way you're going to have see the darkness and lightness whereas well, it if you almost looks like it gets a little darker at the bottom it's more Right. Yeah, that's kind of hard to do with doing 12 of them at once. <laughs> but see, this way, by doing the sponge, I get the lightness and darkness in the pattern, whereas if I put it in a pot and did it, it would be pretty well one solid color. So that's why I wanted to do the sponge with this. And I mixed up three big things of it, and I don't even know if that's going to be enough. And you can see, so I got super wash, um, stunning super wash here at the top. I have um, legacy worsted in the middle, and I have smashing socks. So you can see with this nylon, it looks a little bit different on here. Nice. So those of you that are local, we're getting ready to start midnight back. And. Since I screwed up and got my, it's dripping. I don't know if that matters. Not really. I got my dates messed up. So, hi Leslie. Hi Valera. Hey um, guys. I announced on Facebook that it was starting this week. Thinking, I don't know, I lost a week somewhere. Whatever. <laughs> it's a Monday. So, I went back and changed it on most things, but I don't know who saw it. And so, we're going to go ahead and open up this Thursday for midnight. So, come on in, guys. See you on Thursday, everybody local. And you'll get to see this early. Ooh, hi, Savannah. So, we're open up this Thursday. Yep, we'll be here from 5 to 8 with midnight from 6 to 8. Or if you want to come in at 5, that's fine too. See, look at that little bit of yellow that's in the picture. Isn't that awesome? It is. I love this one. I got to pick this one out. I was so excited. He had so many paintings that I <laughs> loved. I just said, Cindy, just pick one. I can make it happen. And I picked three, and we narrowed it down from there. This one just seemed good for this time of year. Because it's a spring. No, it's not. But it's getting close. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Oh, I love 
like the light green. I really like these colors. You did good. Let's see how you do with the pink. It's all, there is no pink. <gasps> That's purple. Sacrilege. Uh, I have it two is. purples. I have a, a pink purple and a blue purple. And orange? No, that's a, the red purple. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Deanna. Hey, Deanna. Did you miss our announcement? Knit night starts this week. Back on Thursdays. Come out and see us. Hi, Lindsay. Yes, we're hoping you'll be able to come visit us at Maryland, too. It's going to be fun. Ooh, that's pretty. I like this a lot. It's just very, very easy to look at. As much as you like color, um, yeah, did you see it on Facebook? I screwed up and said yes. See, this is the pink. To this week couple. and then realized it wasn't the first of March. See? But we're going to go with it. It's different? It's pink purple. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Cool. I wanted to match these colors in here. Cool. I like it. Don't let me forget to take a picture. So now if I do, it's your fault. Ooh, and we have a painting to add to uh, show it with. So if you are new to joining us on Mondays, this is when he live dyes yarn for the week, and then we make it available for sale on our Friday show. Set two o'clock. Oh, look at that. Is it just me or I can't see anything today? It's just you. Okay, look at this. Oh, it's probably should go this way. Look at that. Oh, I'm trying to get it without Lulu in the picture. Lulu sound asleep down here. There we go. All right. Awesome. That looks cool. Oh, I want like this. So much fun. What was his name? Sam Gilliam. And well, look this? up his work. He's still alive. Um, Green and and if you Google him, they did a uh, a YouTube video with him with the um, Smithsonian, and it is an awesome interview with him. So check that out too. Really? Yeah. You know, it might be a good bathing suit cover up if you were like going on a cruise or something. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Deanna and her daughter are going on their first cruise, and I'm so jealous because we haven't been on one in forever. Just want to go somewhere warm. Of course, it's supposedly pretty nice out today. I don't know. I haven't been out since. No, no. Clock this morning, so. Hey, Deanna. Good choice on that barbecue rub. I used it yesterday on my ribs. They worked. It worked out really well. Yeah. What was that called? Three little pigs cherry. Yeah. Uh, Something like that, I think. We should try some of the others of theirs. And I did the three, two, one. Um. 
Yes, I did a three, two, one. Go ahead. He's so excited about his ribs that that's all we've heard about. So the three, two, one is you go three hours at 225 on your smoker, and then two hours wrapped in tin foil, and then then you take them off. You put barbecue sauce on them and put them back on the smoker for an hour. So three, two, one. Is that just rack ribs? Yeah. We don't usually make rack ribs. No, they turned out really well. They like were falling off the bone. We have leftovers. And then when you wrap them in the tin foil for That's two hours, cherry. you oh, add yes. you add a little um, um, barbecue sauce and a little bit of uh, apple juice, so it keeps them really moist and so that's why they start falling off the bone because they get all that moisture in them yes Tom was having a ball. well it was like what 40 almost 50 degrees yeah it was nice out so he decided it was a good day to smoke some ribs had to take the coat off the smoke yeah, I took the coat off, the blanket off the smoker. <laughs> it's almost like a welder blanket you put on it when it's really cold out. That's how we smoke here in the the north. We in keep winter. on smoking in the winter time. We just put blankets on our grills and smokers. I'm kind of sad the Olympics are over. But I'm I not. I really that didn't watch any. I didn't either. I liked what I saw, but I didn't get a chance to... I don't know. I just liked knowing there was different things on at night if I wanted to watch them. The skiing and stuff was always interesting. But I'm just sad I finished that new series, Reacher. In like one night, it was so good. Now would I got to wait three years for another Reacher? Yep. You are going to use all three. Wow. Yep, we grill all year too, as long as the wind isn't coming straight out of the north. Because <laughs> then it blows right into the patio door when you open it. And cools off the entire kitchen and living room. Oh, really? It was from the Atlanta area? Cool. Renee liked it, too. So, Valera, I, I actually was in Atlanta area for two years working for Wellstar and uh, in Marietta there and all of the different hospitals that they had. I loved that area. A lot of good food. Yeah, I, I loved it down there. Probably one of the favorite things we toured while we were down there was the, the CNN building. Yeah, that was a fun little tour. Dexter got to be in the green screen weatherman. to finish the two PBS shows. I think they finaled over the weekend. The Around the World in 80 Days and second season of All Creatures Great and Small. They were my favorites this year. And don't get me started, Valera, on the, the barbecue down there. There are some good barbecue down there in the land area. Remember that one um, buffet we found that was all was it all Indian and Asian? Yeah. It was all kinds of different foods. It was good. Of course, that's been, what, 10, 15 years ago now? It was right by the old Six Flags, right? Yeah.
I want to go someplace, see something new. I was just thinking about that the other day. It'd be so nice to see something new, talk to something new. Oh, she's vegetarian. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, we went to a couple uh, vegan restaurants down there when I tried to do it. Um, and there were some really good vegan restaurants in the area down there. But I think my favorite restaurant down in that area was a, it was a really nice restaurant overlooking a river. I can't, it's been like 12 years ago, so I can't even remember the name of the place. But it was so good. It had so much good seafood and everything at it. Hmm. It was like right before you got the Buckhead area. looking at this yarn trying to figure out what I want to do with it. So many things. It's interesting to see it knit up because I almost think it might be okay for sweater. I think it would be because it's pretty uniform. It was pretty upscale. There were a lot of like really expensive cars in the parking lot, but I didn't know any better, so I still went there a few times, even though it cost me an arm and a leg. Um, Carolyn, if you get a chance, could you rendezvous send or that something out? like that? Send that out to your group text. I'm not in that group text, so I don't. But we'll send a um. An I'll have to look up afterwards, Valera, and I'll let you know on Friday the name of it. I can't remember, but I was there a few times and I loved it. Mm, just like real life, we keep talking over each other. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I better do some more work to it. Okay. All right. You're going to leave them? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave you from here because I'm going to have to mix up some more dye. I used up so much gray. We'll show the picture. So this is uh, Sam Gilliam, and uh, he's actually, um, I love him. He's. I'm going to probably end up, this will probably be one of the first artists that I'll do more of his stuff besides just one and done because I love his stuff so much. Um, the colors he does. color aesthetic. And yeah. then... Then he did a lot of stuff on fabric too, like almost like tie dye kind of, but it wasn't the bright, crazy tie dye colors. But it trans, it'll yeah. translate well to yarn. exactly. So I, I, I love him. I would love to be able to meet him before it's too late. Yeah, I don't know where he's at now. I don't know. I'm gonna figure that out. Okay. It might be a road trip. We'll, we'll stalk him. I will stalk him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So race. That's it. It was rays. Rays on the on the river or something like oh, that. Oh, I remember you and Diana Baber talking about that. I love that place. I don't know if it's still there, but I love it. Okay, so if you're local, come and see us Thursday night. Yep, we're we're going back. You know, they're getting rid of all these mandates and things like that, so we're going back to regular hours. Well, Thursday night. Thursday night. Yeah. yeah. Um, we don't know yet about Saturday. And then come and see us on Friday here on Facebook for To Die For Friday. And we will show you this yarn, which is going to be really cool. So. I am so impressed with this yarn. Yes. I hope you guys will like it too. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great